Okay, this is the very first question of the May 2013 time zone 2 paper 1 um, IB Maths SL exam. Okay, so in the first question, we're asked to find the inverse of the function of x. So, to find the inverse of a function, what we have to do is swap the values of y and x over. So at the moment, they've given us the equation f of x equals 4x minus 2, which can also be written as y equals 4x minus 2. So now, like, to swap this, all you have to do, to find the inverse, sorry, all you have to do is swap the values of x and y. So if you do that, we get x equals 4y minus 2. Now what you want to do is to continue on to solve for y. So you're just going to use simple algebra, bring the 2 over the other side, so you'll get x plus 2 equals 4y, and divide both sides by 4, then you're left with y equals x plus 2 divided by 4, and that's your final answer for part A. Now for part B, they're asking you to find the f of g of 1. So to start this question, we're going to find the f of g of x so that we have an equation that we can substitute a value of 1 into. So when we're trying to find the f of g, what we have to do is whenever we see it, sorry, let me start, it's like putting the equation g of x into the equation f of x. So whenever we see an x in the equation f of x, that's that x right there, we're going to substitute in this value here, g of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 4 multiplied by negative 2x squared plus 8 and then minus 2 from the rest of the equation. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply that out. So you get negative 8x squared plus 32 minus 2. So that equals negative 8 x squared plus 30. Okay, so there's your equation for the f of g of x, but you want to find f of g of 1. So what we're going to do is then just substitute x for 1. And you see that's the same as this equation up here. So if we substitute that in, we get negative 8 times 1 squared plus 30, which gives us 30 minus 8 which also equals 22, which is your final answer. And so from that, if you do that correct, you'll get the full six marks.